Dylan Yellowlees, and um, I founded the Girls Rock Camp Akron. It was initially funded through a Night Arts Challenge grant, which um, was a grant that was dropped in Akron for a million dollars to individual ideas. Each person got a portion of that million dollars and then they had to match the money with local funds. It, it was just uh, something that we decided to do because really at like 10 is when girls start hearing girls can't do that, you know, girls can't do that, oh, girls don't play guitar. So we wanted these kids to be able to go back and be like, no, not only can I, I already did. So that's hopefully what they leave with at the end of the week, that they've accomplished something that people don't think that girls can do. So every morning we have activities, a lot of them are like team building activities or relaxation activities. Today we did some gyrotonics, which is kind of a new thing to me, but it was all about stretching and kind of releasing your diaphragm for those folks that are going to sing. We do that sort of stuff in the morning, um, then we break for lunch every day, and in, after lunch we have a concert every day or some type of uh, demonstration. So it's something new and fun for the kids to do every day. After lunch, then they practice, 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 practice. So for the first two days, they learn how to play an instrument. And um, after that, they form their band and they get together and they write a song and they learn how, how to be in a band, sort of the same way you would if you were playing sports. It's all about teamwork. Everybody has to be on the same page. Now, I started it because I wish there was one of these when I was a kid. So um, I lived in Atlanta for 15 years before moving to Akron. And this had been going on in Atlanta for about five years when I moved here. And the closest one to Akron was actually happening in Columbus. There wasn't one in Cleveland. There was nowhere the kids could go. So I thought this would be a great idea to try it here. It goes down one, uh, oh, sonically okay. it goes one string lower. There's always, uh, you can always shoot us a line and buy a t-shirt or, you know, say you want to help out. We move a lot of drums and keyboards and guitars and amps around. So. We're always looking for help. <laughs> they can go to girlsrockcampakron.com. There's a donate button, there's an email there, there's a phone number, they can give us a call. Um, usually we do a couple of fundraisers every year at Jilly's. And they can, it's girls between the ages of 10 and 16 years old on July 1st of the year. So um, we're not super strict. If your birthday is going to be, you know, three days later, Two weeks later we'll work it out but generally July 1st is our cutoff date for that. Once again girlsrockcampakron.com there's a form there uh, about four months before camp they can jump on and fill out the form. Uh, we don't turn any kid away because they can't pay to come to camp so we make sure that there are scholarships available for those kids. Wow.